Hi. Conservative MP David Amos was stabbed to death during his constituency surgery on Friday. Almost certainly a terrorist, jihadist, motivated attack. Another knife crime. A horrific incident. The unhappy fate shared by, mostly without attracting headlines, hundreds stabbed to death in the grim inner city areas. The knee-jerk reaction from the entire political class has been predictable. Everything short of beatification. But the fear amongst all shades of establishment politicos is palpable. Could it be me next? Navarra Media's Aaron Bastini was quick off the mark, offering his sincere condolences. And why not? From right to left in Parliament, the House of Lords, their support teams, cheerleaders, are all part and parcel of the same corrupt authoritarian establishment. It's a power game. They're all in it together. The life of kids and youth on council estates in marginalised communities mean nothing to them. They are merely a projection for their far from sublimated fear and loathing of the lower orders. Along with countless millions of us existing in a combination of misery and fear for the future without any form of representation. Amos himself was originally from a working class East End background, but he became part of that obnoxious breed a working class Tory. He was socially regressive, although paradoxically opposed to the barbaric so-called sport of fox hunting. But he was part of the machine, the system, responsible for all the cruelties, innumerable deaths, poverty, deliberately imposed by the feudal capitalist set up here in the UK, and enthusiastically so. So in the spirit of these heartless times, I can only conclude by saying he never made it into the cabinet. But he certainly made it into a pine box. Bye.